All right, what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. The black on black manipulation. I was on social media and a guy, black guy, was talking about he got other things to worry about instead of the Confederate flag. You know, what about black on black crime? And every time a, a major incident happens, either someone black or white comes out with the black on black crime manipulation to me. And this is why I always think it's ridiculous and idiotic and backwards. Now, first and foremost, the timing of it and context of it is very suspect and it's inappropriate and for all the people who have these in these subhuman and superhuman standards realize they don't put these standards on everyone else. What I mean by that is this. Remember when they had the knockout game and that was supposed to be like black on white hate type crime thing? Nobody said, you know, what about white on white crime? They didn't, did they? When all these fake ladies were talking about Bill Cosby raped them, nobody said, what about white-on-white -white rape? Did they? No. When they were doing a street harassment campaign, and they were doing it with black men in general in black neighborhoods, nobody said, what about white-on-white -white street harassment? Did they? Let's take this for You remember Christopher Dorner? Remember that? When people were like, oh, you got to get him. You got to get, you know, they, they, they got to get him. He's out here killing innocent people. Nobody said, hey, he's out here shooting innocent people. But what about white people shooting innocent people? What about white on white, you know, shooters that go out? No, it didn't happen. When Newtown happened, people said it was about gun laws. Nobody said, oh. You know, what about this white on white crime? Now, here's the thing. I can do that with when they have when they have the Asian shooter like at Virginia Tech and he shot up the school. Nobody said, Oh my God, what about this Asian on Asian crime though? I mean he shot he's Asian and he shot people. What about the epidemic of Asians killing Asians? Now the crazy part about this is this the Whatever on whatever crime, black on black, white on white, Asian on Asian, Hispanic on Hispanic, Samoan on Samoan, Muslim on Muslim, female on female, it's, the crime is roughly the same. But nobody brings this up when something tragic happens to other people. They don't. So every time something happens with black people, with my people, all of a sudden, black on black crime pops up. Now, the irony of that is it's asinine to even in thought, in theory, and even in practice to bring that up if you were having a conversation with somebody. You understand? You know, um, because and you can't even really uh, the scenario seems far-fetched right now, at least, because you don't see black officers beating the shit out of white people and killing white people on camera. So it, we, we that doesn't even seem realistic to happen in America, for one. But to take that, if it was a hypothetical, and then see some black officers choke a white guy to death, and then... BET say, well, but what about white on white crime? You know, white people to go crazy. This is, police brutality needs to stop in America. Police, it may be bad, but what? But but this white criminal culture, you know, is making these black cops scared of white people. Just a hypothetical. Some people can't wrap their heads around it. You know, 
when people drive to a mosque to draw Muhammad. It, you know, if the Muslims go off and shoot the people there, nobody ever says, you know, what about Muslim on Muslim crime? I mean, they should have knew these guys were violent because they're terrorists, right? And they're Muslims, and Muslims commit terrorist acts, and what, what they commit crime amongst each other, too. Like, you, you, you take the Hispanic community and you say, you know, what about. And what about their drug cartels and all this Hispanic on Hispanic crime? That's why these people are nervous about them, and that's why they acted the way they did. I mean, if they would stop, you know, pr producing cocaine and, and, and weed and, and having these drug cartels murder and behead people and hang people from freeways and, you know, <laughs> then maybe we would look at them a little, you know, less, you know, less scary. See, Donald Trump pissed people off this week, and so did Ann Coulter, but, I mean, Hispanic on Hispanic crime is not really going to come into the mix, right? So, you know, ultimately, and, and for all the people say that, you know, but it does exist. Yeah, it does exist. Everything I just, most of the things that, that were realistic and not hypotheticals do exist. But the difference is, it's asinine to put them in context with other people. And I explained that already, and you know it. So, for all you people out there using black on black crime as a manipulation, no matter what goes on in the society, I don't mind you using it, but be consistent. When it's time to bring up white on white crime, bring it up then too. And I'm talking about black people too, and especially black people really. When it's time to bring up Hispanic on Hispanic crime, bring it up too. When it's time to bring up Asian on Asian crime, bring it up too. Don't just jump on your soapbox with your black on black crime argument and ignore everybody's crime within their ethnic group. That's why I don't like when I hear that crap. Because... And that's why I think sometimes people call people sellouts and coons because the same people that would jump the that Larry Elder soapbox about black on black crime. I don't know. Have you ever heard of somebody like Larry Elder or Juan Williams or Jesse Lee Peterson or Charles Walkley talk about other ethnicities, whatever on whatever crime? Ever hear about that? Ever seen it? Have they ever even made a reference to it? I mean. But, you know, y'all get back to me and let me know if you have. I mean, I would like to know. Because I haven't seen it. You know, if it's out there, I appreciate it. I doubt it, though. I'm out.